on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Bob is duck hunting in Ellerby, North Carolina at DeWitt's Outdoor Sports. Joining Bob will be owner of DeWitt's Outdoors, Chris DeWitt. Also on this week's Sportsman's Table, we will feature a South Carolina certified recipe featuring duck. So this week's show is all for the duck hunter, from hunting to preparing it. And it all begins right now. What I thought of this lead, he might have been a jay. Fish on. Double up, double up, man. <laughs> Be a crisp morning. Woo! We got some right. Yeah. We got some around us, Bob. Yeah, we do. We do. Sun's coming up. Mm. Already had breakfast. Holly. I tell you what, I had a good breakfast. Yeah, it was too. good. I'm telling you. <laughs> My compliments to the chef at DeWitt's. That's how. Nothing like sausage and scrambled eggs. No, sir. Grits. That's true. Good old southern grits. <laughs> there we go, Bob. Take him, Chris. Can you get him? No. Okay. There's another one. <laughs> I know. Come right around behind us. Well, they just they just appear out of nowhere. Don't I'm they? telling you. Circling around. That's you, Bob. Get him. Take him. Good shot. Good shot. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. Man, some That's dust pretty in that great. One. <laughs> pretty great. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> Good shot. That you know, you know what it was about. It was the collar. <laughs> uh, you did a good job on that one, getting them to come in, flare up. Oh man! Ah, awesome. I tell you, I, I wished I was good at it. <laughs> no, man, you are. You're great. I sound kind of like a duck. You're great. <laughs> you sound like a duck. <laughs> Nice shot. All right. All right. Wow. Great shot. Oh. No, you can still you can still do it, man. You still can call it. and shoot at the same time. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm sure. Ah. Here, Here we come. go, Bob. Take it, Chris. He's on yours. <laughs> ah. Oh man. Okay. No, safety first. That's right. That's right. <laughs> No duck is worth shooting across the bow. That's exactly right. Mm -mm. You got the one on the. I got take it. Him, take yep. him. Uh. Well, Chris, we're covered up. <laughs> there we go, right there, Bob. There he is. Take him, take him. Oh, no, uh, no. He got all the water on me. <laughs> he snuck up me on asleep. me. <laughs> ah. You know, I, I will have to tell you for an excuse, if there is one, when that sun is shining, here he comes, here he comes. Yep, yep. Well, I sure got right out in the middle, flopping there, in it? Yep, we got one. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. Woo! Ah, man. Did you look at there, buddy? That... <laughs> look, here we go. We got some more. Ah, here they come. Well, they were they were doing that. that oh, here we go. We got one falling right in our lap here. Take him, Chris. Oh. Ah. No. 
a player just out of range there. Now he wants to come in in the worst way. There, yeah. oh, little out of range. All right. That's okay. You can't now get I them all. Make sure we make a good <laughs> shot. So. Yeah. All right. Boom. <laughs> all right. Good Woo shot. Good yeah, shot. Man. I think, we may have, I think we may have teamed up on that one. I think we did. <laughs> but I think you wound up making the, <laughs> making the final shot there. Woo. Great shot this morning. Mm, mm, mm. There's a pair of <laughs> Stay tuned. Coming up, we head back to Ellerby, North Carolina for some more duck hunting action. Here's another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. The number one priority when hunting out of a tree stand is safety. You owe it to your family and friends to wear a safety harness when hunting from an elevated tree stand. Inspect your stand prior to the beginning of hunting season. Check any straps or cables for damage and make sure that the stand is firmly attached to your tree. Always have at least three points of contact when climbing into your stand. And remember, tree stand safety is no accident. Wonkawatchee Marina, located on the Wonkawa River in Merle's Inlet, is a first-class freshwater marina. For over 60 years, locals and visitors have enjoyed Wonkawatchee Marina as a recreational stopover or as a launching spot on the river. Wonkawatchee offers affordable rates on wet slips, rack storage, fuel services, and a collection of amenities to enhance your boating experience. For a great meal with a waterfront setting, visit Deck 383, located on dock level at the marina. Wonkawatchee Marina, Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. New Berkeley Fireline Ultra 8. It's rounder, smoother, and four times more abrasion resistant than original Fireline. That means you catch more fish. Ultra 8 features eight graded strength, heated to molecularly bind individual fibers. It lays well on the spool and is quieter to going through your guide. Expect 10% longer casts and superb knot strength. New Fireline Ultra 8, and you thought Fireline couldn't get any better. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom-crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is brought to you today by Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. By South Carolina, it's a matter of taste. By Pennington Seed, the leader in outdoor forage products. By Browning, Browning, the best there is. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing. And by Backwoods Quail Club, offering Southern style hunting and an array of exciting and challenging clay target shooting sports. Straight in on us. Yeah. Oh, he's right over the, just on the other side of those trees there. There he is. Come right. There. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. What a shot. Ah. I don't know if you can see that or not on <laughs> camera, but. I heard it. <laughs> There's a raft of them coming. They're out front. Oh, oh man. Here we go. Look, there's. Get him, Chris. Nice shot, Chris. All right. Nice shot. Bob, you got one right there. Take him, take him. I'm loading. I think he might have been just a little bit out of my reach. Oh boy. Oh well. They're moving faster than I estimated. You know, there's an old saying in the duck hunting world. You shoot him where he eats, not where he poops. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I think he was he was fanning at me. <laughs> There we go, right there. Yeah, he's a little high, Chris. Uh, a little high. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! Ah, 
Oh, you got him. You got him. <laughs> you got him. Okay. All right. <laughs> awesome. Woohoo. Take it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Coming around. Ooh. Folks, listen, we are in Ellenby, North Carolina this morning at my good friend and partner, Chris DeWitt. He's my wingman over here at DeWitt's Outdoor Sports. I tell you what, duck hunts, yeah, man. I'll tell you, quail hunts, you bet. Sporting clays, listen, Chris has got it all up here. Hey, Chris, I gotta come over here for just a second. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the operation here. Now, you know, this morning, oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Mm. Okay, I messed it up. That's all right. On the move. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> well, well, real quick, I mean, you really have an excellent operation up here, and of course, our destination this week. Yes. Duck hunt. It's been five, six, maybe seven years since we've been up here, yeah, but so, somewhere thereabouts. You know, but the great thing about it is, is we're hunting in timber this morning. That's right. That's right. And you've got, you know, just tell everybody about the, the, the duck hunts during during the year because I mean this is special. Well, with the duck hunts we have here, we we've got four different ponds that the ducks just really want to be on this. And and I'm gonna tell you, we can keep them here. We do a good job with 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 the food sources and keeping them here and. And buddy, they're here. And as you've seen, the ducks are just all over us. They want to be here. And we can get in these in the heads of these ponds with this timber and, and get in waders. We can put you in blinds. You know, we we tell folks you you don't have to get your feet wet if you don't want to. Exactly. We've got some fantastic dogs. We've got some really good some really good guides with some really good professional dogs, good dog trainers that uh, that come in and guide for us. And so uh, so yeah, we. We do a good job of getting all your ducks picked up. So we, uh, yeah, we we can really put you on a good duck hunt <laughs> right here in Ellery, North Carolina. Yeah, I'm telling you, folks. Well, listen, <laughs> DeWitt Outdoor Sports, log on to Bob's Top 16, and you're going to find him right there. I mean, he's got you know, summer, winter, fall, you name it. There's always something going on up here at DeWitt Outdoor Sports. All right, let me get back over here so all I can, right. so I can get another duck or two. Mm. Plus, you notice I've changed and put on my, my beanie. It's actually 25 degrees this morning, folks. It is great. Cold. Yeah, it it is great cold. duck hunting weather. The wind's blowing right at our face. Sun's to our back. It's all, here he comes. Ah, oh, he's here we flare. Go. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, right, he's flaring in. There we go. There we go. Woohoo. Mm. That wakes everybody else. Yeah, it does. <laughs> now everybody else is getting excited. <sighs> Circle on back around, Birdie. Come on. Here we go. You tried it. He knew you were here, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he was afraid of me. There we go. There we go. Nice shot. Got Great shot. Down. Them are ducks. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, man. Oh, they're ah. coming, coming in from behind coming us. In, yeah, they are. <laughs> when we return from commercial break, we will go to the sportsman's table to show you how to prepare that duck you may have harvested this duck season. Let's go, let's go. I'm a little bit country. Oh. And I'm a little bit rock and roll. I'm a little bit of Memphis and Nashville. With a little bit of Motown in my soul. I don't know if it's good or bad. But I know I love it so. With a little bit of country. 
The all-new Chevy Silverado. It's a little bit country, and it's a little bit rock and roll. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. I was really fortunate to be raised in a family with a strong outdoor heritage. We've been farming and hunting land that's been in our family since the Revolutionary War. Being good stewards of the land and wildlife and passing that on to future generations has always been part of our heritage. My grandfather created a company based on these values, and 70 years later, Pennington is still guided by these principles. This culture and these values are reflected in all of our products. Let us help you create your own outdoor legacy. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome to this week's Sportsman's Table recipe. Joining me is Chef Ed Drombrowski. He's with Lee's Farm in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. We've had him on before. Y'all may have remembered his other recipe was drunken shrimp. Well, he's got an equally great recipe this week. Ed, what have we got this week? What are you cooking? Well, we're, we figured we're going to do some uh, pan-seared duck breasts. Duck oh, season wow. just ended here in South Carolina, so yeah. we just figured that would be a great thing to do with a real quick, simple sauce and some winter greens. Uh, South Carolina uh, spinach is a uh, winter green here. Oh, so wow. we're going to do a little uh, side of spinach also. Well, and certified SC is right here exactly. on this table, okay? And you guys at Lee's Farm, all of it, the jalapenos, the cherries, all of the stuff is right here produced. Exactly. Okay, let's get started okay. with this, man. I, I, I can't wait. Ducks. All right, we're going to take mm. nice, I love duck nice duck breast here. We're yeah. going to season up with some salt and pepper, okay. a little bit of garlic. Now, folks, if you want a copy of Ed's recipe and drunken shrimp, you like that too? Uh, just log on to bobredfern.com and exactly. Now we're going to go put to this the in here. Table. There you go. Okay. Now you're going to put the skin side down skin first. Skin side down first. Let the fat start to render. Okay. Now, how long are you going to let that cook? We're going to cook this for about two minutes, and then after that, we're going to just pop it in the oven for about another 10 to 12 minutes. So there's no flip? No flip. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Now, reason? Uh, because if we finish it off in the oven, I like to get that crispy on the outside, the ah, skin, and then we're going to okay. put it in well, and just see. let it finish there off there to about 100, 165 Shift degrees. technique right there. Exactly. Okay. Now, what's next? Okay, we're going to do some wilted spinach. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm using uh, pecan oil. Really? Yep. Hmm, that's kind of a first. Exactly. I'm going to put some shallots in there. Okay. I'm going to put some smoked garlic, which we smoke actually at Lee's Farms. Oh, neat. I like that smokiness uh, flavor. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to throw some uh, grape tomatoes in there. Okay. Get that nice and hot. Get those flavors coming together. Start smelling that. Okay. And we're going to throw our spinach in. Let that wilt down. Season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Mmm, and you can already smell yeah, that you already smoked smell. garlic. Smell Listen, it, yep. Wow. That smoked garlic is fantastic. I like using it on, on greens and veggies. Listen, you guys and gals never cease to amaze me <laughs> what you guys can cook up. And especially all the certified SC ingredients that you have down at Lee's Farm. Exactly. That's fantastic. Well, we appreciate that. All right, so we're wilting that down there, and that's going to be our, our side for our, um, for our duck breast. Okay. That's all you really need to it. You don't want to get it too, 
You want to have a little texture to it, a little bit soft, a little bit crunchy. Right. Okay. And that only took a couple minutes. All right, now we've got the other two are all ready. Now what? Okay, now we're going to do the sauce. And, okay. and what we do, Chef Sean and I, uh, after you know, we were talking about what we were going to do tonight, we wanted to uh, do something that was kind of fruity but had a little kick to it. I got so you. So what we did was we're going to take cherry preserves. Okay. And we're going to take candy, chopped up candy jalapenos. Ooh, man, yeah, you talk about that, spice of life. It's spice of life. It's got a little sweetness to it. And, and what's great about this, it's a simple sauce. That's all you're putting in it. That's fantastic. All the flavor is here. Wow. And that's what we're going to top the duck with. That is fantastic. Again, it only takes a couple minutes just to get it soft, get it ready to go. Well, and you know, and I know your reasoning behind that because mm -hmm. some folks think that duck breast has a little wild taste to exactly. it. Exactly. So if you're afraid of that, folks, listen, this is going to, this is going to, well, it's just going to cool your fears because it doesn't. It doesn't right. taste wild. That, that sweetness thing that yeah. goes great with the duck and that exactly. wild taste. There you go. Oh, and by the way, Lee's Farm, jalapenos, candy, and the cherry preserves right there. And there, your sauce is already done. And now, somebody wants to get a hold of you guys on the web. They're going to go to www.leesfarmersmarket.com. There you go, Merle's Inlet. Okay. All right, Ed. Man, we got it all together. Yep. Now it's the finish. Okay, what we're going to do is take our side of uh, wilted spinach, mm. put that on the plate. Mm. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Look at that. Yeah, it's, and the it's duck great breast. Comment, duck breast, and you got that spokiness of that garlic. Oh, I wow. I like to just throw a little bit of lemon on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. and then to finish it off, we're going to spoon the sauce on top. Again, it's those cherry preserves and that candied jalapeno. Wow. Mm. That is fantastic. Look at that. Mm. And there you go. There is not a person out there. You don't got to be a sportsman to eat duck breast, okay? Because that is a great delicacy. Exactly. So right there. Ed. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure Absolutely. to have you again as a guest. Yes, okay, drunken you. shrimp, now duck breast, right there from Lee's Farm. Folks, and if you would like to experience all these great recipes and more, log on to certifiedscgrown.com. It is truly a matter of taste. We'll see you right back here again next week on another edition of the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out. Farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Here's another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources encourages all hunters to wear a hat, coat, or vest of solid, visible international orange while hunting. International orange is a non-natural color that will identify you as a hunter and not a game animal while in the woods. You should wear it on the way to your stand, while hunting, and on your way out. Remember, safe hunting is no accident. The Old 96 District in South Carolina is nestled in the western corner of the state and is a haven for fishing enthusiasts. South Carolina's freshwater coastline wraps around 84,000 acres of water, including Lakes Greenwood, Russell and Thurman experience incredible outdoor adventure, arts, culture, history, and heritage of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties. Plan your next outdoor outing in South Carolina's Old 96 District, a part of South Carolina's freshwater coast. Let's go! Let's go! I'm a little bit country. Oh, and I'm a little bit rock and roll. I'm a little bit of Memphis and Nashville. With a little bit of Motown in my soul. I don't know if it's good or bad. But I know I love it, so. With a little bit of country. And a little bit of rock and roll. The all-new Chevy Silverado. It's a little bit country. And it's a little bit rock and roll. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, brought to you today by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. Brought to you by Abu Garcia. Abu Garcia for life. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. By Browning Ammunition, Browning the best there is. And by Southern Woods Plantation, 
a place where the grandeur of times past can still be experienced today. Well, folks, welcome back to the show. My shotgun of choice this morning is the Browning Maxis. It's the all-purpose 26-inch barrel, 3.5-inch chamber, and it is an awesome shotgun. You can't go wrong when you're in the field, turkey hunting, duck hunting, or just general all-purpose shooting. This 12-gauge Browning Maxis is a gun for you. Be sure to go online at browning.com to see the complete line of Maxis shotguns for 2019. Maxis Shotguns offers the shooter real-world liability, less recoil, less muzzle jumper, more accurate follow-up shots, faster bolt speed, and faster lock speed than the nearest competitor. The Maxis Shotgun is the most reliable gas-operated autoloader ever to swing on a bird. Go to Browning.com or visit a Browning retailer near you and check out all the Browning Shotguns that will truly make you one with the gun. Got him, Bob? Woo! All right, good shot. Nice, nice to done. There we go. You need more? Man, well, I'm out of shells. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, all right. Great duck hunt. I loved it. Mm. There ain't nothing better than. Here. 20 go, degree got water, and you got to take him. I'm done. I got my limit. I'm done. See? Uh, yeah. Oh, Mom, I'm, I'm out of chill. Okay, that's all right. It wasn't nothing. I could take my beanie off. Man, I'm telling you, my Hell's uh, Canyon beanie. Put my hat back on. Mm, mm, mm. No, that was awesome. Look at him. Here they come. And, ah. and now they're coming in. Oh, my goodness. Well, we did get a few. We did. And, it, and I tell you what, you know, the, the temperatures this morning, it, is, it ain't been yeah. 25 degrees in God, forever really. in, in the south. And so yeah. it's just been a, a great morning, Chris, and I really appreciate you having us up. Oh, glad. The Wit Outdoor Sports, as always, will not disappoint. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have you. And I'll tell you, we'll, we'll get you out here in a couple minutes. We'll, we'll pick these ducks up and... We'll go clean some birds. We got to do it, man. All I'll right. tell you what. Well, listen, one final thing to uh, folks and listen, check out DeWitt Outdoor Sports. Go to Bob's Top 16. You can go right out there, go to their website. But I would like to say this guy is a great friend. Yeah. You, you are even better shot, okay? <laughs> listen, it has just been a pleasure being up here today, and, and I, I can't thank you enough. You got a great family operation, sporting clays. You, you've got quail hunts, you got duck hunts. That's I mean, right. it's just a, anything you want to do if you're an outdoorsman, you yeah, can come up and like do it. If you like to hunt, we can, we can put you on some birds. I can tell you that much. You can do it. We right. can take you out and shoot clays <laughs> and, and make sure you can know how to hit them when you get there. There you go. So. Well, folks, that's our show for this week. Again, our destination, Ellerby, North Carolina. It's been a while since we've been up here, but I tell you what, this guy is the consummate. He is just a great host and just even a better wingman. And as I always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you next time. Shall we get some of these things picked up? Yes, sir. All right, man, let's go do it. All right. Mm. <laughs>